social update UG. Migrant workers leaving and returning to the country to be monitored. Uh, the office of the president has secured an office at the Entebbe International Airport to handle migrant workers. Uh, this is intended to facilitate the fight against the illegal recruitment of workers that are taken abroad to work. It will also provide an access hub for Ugandans leaving the country for work and returning home after working in the diaspora. A AMB Ambassador Abe Walusimbi, the senior presidential advisor on diaspora affairs, convened a meeting following this. Uh, representatives from the Ministry of Gender, Ministry of Internal Affairs, Ministry of Health, State House, Anti Corruption Unit were present. Also, the Uganda Civil Aviation Authority, Chieftains of Military Intelligence, ISO, ESO, Aviation, Police, Port Health, UAERA, among other agencies, sent representatives. I will also be told the attenders, all the attendees, that they have a directive from the President to streamline the labor externalization industry. He said this would ensure that Uganda gets out of the gazy zone of human trafficking. I would decided to first take a tour of the airport with the intention of familiarizing the team to the process that migrant workers go through when going and when returning home. I commend the director of Geno, or I commend the director of Geno, Uganda Civil Aviation Authority, Fred Bamwesiji, and the director of airport and aviation security engineer Soma Ayub, and the entire airport team for doing a diligent job. All the points were found officials present, excluding good customer care and love for their jobs. Also, he said he further revealed that operations for this office will not only be at the airport but will also spread to the various border points. Uh, this will help citizens acquire the deserved treatment and be protected for inhuman labor exploitation tactics. A State House Anti Corruption Unity's Captain Frederick Bonotti said a WhatsApp account has been opened to the public. This will be issued to report, or this will be used to report any exploitation cases. He also revealed that unlicensed labor export companies are on their radar and will be brought to the book. We have, consi we have consistently received complaints about the ongoing malpractice, not only in the health sector, but also about trafficking in human activities. We are aware of the different rockets involved in this, said Catherine Nasuna a principal assistant secretary in the office of the president a kakati no all laborers migrant laborers leaving uganda and returning into uganda are going to be monitored by the government in an official way and an office has been set up at the at the Entebbe international airport they're going to be monitored to and fro to find out your whereabouts Government in Okoma over Jack Kufana Gukadama will again. Actually, they're gonna be it's very simple to inspect the Kadamas because they're always coming in in groups at the airport in hundreds dressed up in same attire. So just be careful, just be careful, and then you can just tell what you think in the comments about this move. What do you think? How is this move gonna help the Ugandans? What I would actually think or suggest is that. Even before implementing such an office in the country, they should first of all make their embassies and consulates more active because we've seen cases in Dubai where Ugandans were not able to access the embassy and those who had access to it, they would find other people, other nationalities. Those in China during COVID-19, they couldn't access the embassy and consulates. There was a lot of drama across embassies and consulates of Uganda. So I think the first step is actually to help those who are in the diaspora countries by establishing a, a very good service at the consulates and the embassies. You can tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. Uh, peace.